Okay, Brandon, me and Tyler are here to make you a video tutorial for how to do a one ball cartwheel transfer. I'm not sure what else to call it, uh, but yeah, here we go. So, the prerequisites for this trick are the ability to do a one ball cradle in each hand uh, and the ability to do a cartwheel. Uh, that's oversimplifying a little bit, so let's go into it. Okay, sleepy cat, you hold the camera for me. Okay, so we're going to work on the actual transfer of the ball from one hand to the other across the floor first. Uh, you're going to be wanting to do your cradle with just two fingers for this. And when you place your hands on the ground, you want those two fingers to be pointing at each other so that they form a straight line that the ball can roll across. Uh, your hands don't need to be very far apart because realistically your cartwheel shouldn't be more than shoulder length apart, so you only need to practice for a few inches. But practice transferring it back and forth a whole bunch of times. Because without this, the whole trick is lost. So the next thing to work on is the actual cartwheel. Uh, provided your cartwheel is pretty good, this part shouldn't be too much trouble. It's just a little bit of form and how you place your hands. Uh, so just like we were doing when we were do rolling across the floor, uh, you want your fingers to be able to line up. The easiest way to do that is going to be to line up your two fingers with your entire cartwheel. So when you go to do your cartwheel and you place your first hand, try and make sure that it's pointing exactly in the direction of where you're going. And then vice versa, when you place your second hand, you want it to be facing exactly opposite, just like we were doing in the transfer, uh, so that as the ball rolls across the floor when you're coming out of the cartwheel, you have the opportunity to lift up and hold it in that cradle. I don't have a ton of space in here, so I'm going to film it as best I can, but if anything comes out unclear, uh, let me know and I'll try and make a better video. Something to pay attention to while you're actually doing the trick is the speed at which you place your first hand on the ground. Uh, once you start to support your weight on that hand, it's going to be really hard to keep the ball from rolling off. And so if you do that placement really quickly, the ball is going to roll really fast. So if you can ease your weight onto it and kind of get the ball to roll a little slower, you'll have more time to actually get your cartwheel completed. Uh, so that is the basic essence of the cartwheel transfer. Uh, if you want to spruce it up a bit, having uh, the ability to do some butterflies out on the sides of your body out here like this, possibly even up into a bridge-like thing, so you can do some transfers up here, uh, is a nice way to flow in and out of it without having to do some clunky sort of line up, it allows you to just sort of uh, place the ball where you want before your cartwheel and then dive in. 